It's a very dangerous area here, and we've got to figure out how to slow people down. Car parts remain scattered. Monday at noon, pretty horrific accident. In this front yard on Pine Harbor Road. We've had 11 incidents out here, uh, two fatalities. These images. Every accident's been pretty bad. Paint a very real picture of just how dangerous it can be. Three out of my four large trees behind me have all had cars on them. Scott Hartman witnessed the most recent wreck to take place on this stretch of road. Just a few houses away from his own. Unfortunately, I was not far from the road when this happened. I saw the car come by, um, I'd say definitely over 80 miles an hour. The posted speed limit is 35 miles per hour, but people rarely travel that. To be honest, most people drive 45 or 50 rather than 35 on this road. He says there's no sign warning drivers to slow down. Especially if people come out here, they're going to the lake, they don't know the area. There really isn't any warning signs for this curve in either direction. Residents want something done. We're going to start with trying to get some signs put up. Before someone else gets seriously hurt or even killed. There were children 40 feet from this accident the other day, four of them. And uh, their mother's scared to death right now. I mean, they can't have those children out. Lindsay Klein. It's dangerous. Queen City News.